Hello dear friends, my name is Solomon and today in this video I will show you how you can pass a Golden Sand and 3 Starry Nights challenge in Clash of Clans. I didn't say that you can pass it easily because this challenge is not very easy, but anyway I have found a way how you can pass this challenge without using uh, two invisibility spells. Now you can see on your screens the last seconds of my attack and you see that I uh, actually swagged two invisibility spells, but this is not easy challenge, that's why in the beginning Beginning, I will show you how you can uh, almost easily pass it with using all of the spells and then I will also show you how you can pass this difficult challenge without using two invisibility spells. So in this video there will be two methods of passing this golden sand challenge. But before that guys let's check out the new scenery that can be purchased in the in-game shop. It's uh, really interesting and I think it's worth of buying and also there are new skins that can be purchased in the game all of them are Egypt style skins and if you are going to uh, buy the scenery or the skins please don't forget to use my creator boost code Salamon, the same as the name of my channel thanks a lot for your support and if you want to support my channel even more don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks a lot I really appreciate it okay guys so here is the challenge itself uh, you see that we don't have uh, many spells and also we don't have a big army and uh, actually this challenge is pretty difficult and uh, the main idea of the challenge challenge is the usage of the giant arrow for our queen and the fireball for our grand warden and the uh, like one of the most important details is the angle how you use your queen with her giant arrow and in my method I'm using her on the right side to destroy uh, this sweeper and also this one and also to activate the invisibility tower so now let's jump to the life attacks and um, while I'm showing you the attack I will explain you all the moments I will start with the uh, with the easier method with using all of the spells and then will be the second method without using two invisibility spells. Okay guys, so uh, in the first method we are starting with the usage of Infernal Dragon. For that we use an invisibility spell, then Infernal Dragon and we are taking down the town hall. When the first invisibility goes down we use the second one and with that our Infernal Dragon takes down the town hall. Then we are using our queen with the giant arrow, also Ice Golem, Royal, um, Royal Champion and Grand War. Then we use our skeleton spells and also a couple of headhunters to take down the enemy king. Our world champion goes uh, towards the town hall, killing the enemy queen and then switching uh, and joining our uh, queen and grand warden. Then we send out uh, all our loons and super dragons so they can um, destroy the inferno towers, uh, the eagle artillery and so on. Also helping to take down uh, the enemy king. And then our troops go to the bottom of the base. Our royal champion start to uh, hit uh, the monolith and with that she is activating the last invisibility tower. Then it's very important we need to wait until the invisibility goes off and we use our Grand Warden ability and he fires his fireball uh, destroying the monolith, the single inferno tower and helping uh, to protect our super dragon so they can take down all the... Uh, like the rest of the buildings and this is it this is the um, like the easiest way the second method is uh, to destroy the town hall with our inferno dragon not in the beginning of the attack but uh, when our inferno dragons are killing the uh, third compartment with the monolith and the uh, enemy king so this is um, the example how you can use your inferno dragon in the middle of the attack the start is, is the same we are sending our grand warden uh, queen Ice Golem and our uh, Royal Champion, but here you see that I'm not sending Royal Champion uh, together with the Queen. I'm sending her when the invisibility goes off and this way our Royal Champion joins our main army without uh, killing the enemy Queen on the top. Also uh, starting the attack with our uh, loons and uh, super dragons and this way you see our uh, champion has all the HP from the beginning but our queen takes a lot of damage. Also our dragons are joining our army and Grand Warden switches to the super dragons. And here you see uh, the royal champion has lots of HP and this way she can uh, take down more buildings but she didn't kill enemy queen but our 
queen actually switched towards the top of the base and killed enemy queen. Also using our Grand Warden ability with the fireball and you see how many dragons I still have and now it's time to take down the town hall with our Inferno Dragon. First invisibility spell, when it goes off uh, we use the second one and uh, the town hall is destroyed. Our uh, Royal Champion is helping our Super Dragons, also Super Dragons um, uh, clearing the bottom of the base and now it's the end of the attack. You see that I still have uh, three Super Dragons, also uh, Royal Champion. Uh, were still was still alive but then uh, only uh, fox is uh, still alive and we hit a three star another method and uh, the difference is how we send our royal, our royal champion before the invisibility goes off or after okay guys so now the second method and the more difficult method without using two invisibility spells and the trick is um, how we uh, actually send the troops, the timing of sending the troops. First of all, uh, the same spot for our queen, uh, Grand Warden and Ice Golem. And here you see that I'm sending a Royal Champion in the beginning, before the invisibility goes off. Actually, you can uh, do uh, like in my previous attack, uh, send uh, the Royal Champion when the invisibility goes down. And now I'm uh, sending uh, the Super Dragons. And the idea is that Super Dragons destroy the bottom of the base so quickly that that uh, our queen won't have any targets on the bottom of the base and she will switch towards the top of the base and she will actually take down the town hall. This doesn't work each attack and you will have to find the correct uh, uh, timings and the correct spot for your queen. But here you see uh, no targets on the bottom and she switches towards the top and with the phoenix uh, as a pet uh, for the queen, she will take down the town hall. Also waiting for the last invisibility to go down, using our Green Warden ability with the fireball and super dragons are destroying everything in the last compartment and our queen at the same time is taking down the town hall because of her um, frozen arrow and her phoenix. She is able to destroy uh, lots of buildings on the top. Uh, we still have four uh, super dragons alive. We still have our royal champion alive. And it's a triple guys with two invisibility spells swagged. And here is another option. I'm showing you the variant when your queen don't switch towards the town hall and she stays with your main army. The beginning is the same. We are using our queen, grand warden, ice golem and royal champion. Also royal champion before the invisibility. Uh, using skeleton spells to distract uh, the single target defenses. And sending our dragons on the bottom of the base. But in this variant in this attack. My queen didn't switch towards the town hall, she is staying together with the main push and uh, she comes uh, to the town hall from the opposite side. You will see what is happening. So you see that queen is still having targets uh, to uh, to take down, so she's switching to the uh, clan castle building and then she stays with the uh, super dragons. Our royal champion is activating the monolith. Also, again, we are waiting for the invisibility to go off and using our grand warden ability. So, our dragons together with our queen and with grand warden are destroying everything on the bottom and then they will switch towards the top of the base. And actually, this variant. Um, doesn't, um, I think, doesn't look better than the previous one because uh, when uh, Queen destroy the town hall, uh, it's, uh, it's more comfortable for our super dragons to take down the rest of the buildings because there is no poison, there is no beams of the, t of the inferno tower on the top of the town hall and uh, this way um, you don't get a uh, lot of damage. But anyway, even uh, in this case, you can swag two invisibilities and uh, you still have a three star in the end of the attack. But as I said, the uh, challenge is pretty difficult and you will have to try several times to find the correct way. Okay, guys, uh, these were my several methods of passing this challenge. I showed you the easier way with using all of the spells and then the more difficult one just to prove you that my method is working well even without using uh, several invisibility spells and as I said uh, the main idea is to find the right spot for your queen and for that you just need to draw a line um, just imagine a line connecting uh, both sweepers and then you will find the right spot for your queen so actually this spot is over here so uh, let me show you I'm sending my queen using her giant arrow and you see that it goes through the base destroying both of the sweepers and after that 
that you just need to perform the attack that i've shown you with using your invisibility spells or without them anyway you will have a three star if you do everything correctly so that's it for today guys uh, thanks a lot for your support by subscribing my channel uh, leaving a comment and hitting that like button and i see you in the next video it was salamon bye